What's good guys, welcome back. Uh, so we're back at our favorite place, the industrial estate. Um, we're all done in the units now. So we are in this mains room. We're doing a 630 amp Hager MCCB panel, um, 185 parallels feeding it, nine inch trunking, uh, CTs on all the outgoing ways and the incomer, loads of cool stuff. So yeah, gonna show you probably the trunking today, prepping the board, building the panel, all that sort of stuff. Um, I finally got my van as well. So I've got this Citroen dispatch. Um, it's a nice little van actually. Um, I'm gonna get a sign written with Loadout. If you don't know, Loadout's my tool company. Um, I don't really need to tout for work. So yeah, I'm gonna use it to sort of advertise the tool shop um, as I'm driving around the M25 and that. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be cool. Gonna get some rims and, and all sorts, make it look sweet. Uh, let us know what you think I should do to the van as well. Uh, be good to hear what you guys think. Um, yeah, before we get into the video, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe and hit that bell button. Really supports the channel and what I'm trying to do. And you can also join the channel now as well. So check out all those perks below. Let's get to it. Right, so this is going to be our hole for today. Obviously, you've seen all this before, um, but yeah, today we're going to have the MCCB board mounted here, nine inch trunking coming round up, and we're going to flange it into the side of this panel. Uh, probably won't do that today because we're going to wait until this is isolated, but we can get most of it prepped. Uh, we've got our 185 tails, our board, our side extension, incomer kit, uh, CTs for the main incomer as well and all these other little MCCBs and uh, CTs for them and stuff like that. So yeah, it's gonna be cool to show you all that. We're gonna um, get the panel outside, start measuring what we've got to do with our uni and stuff like that. And then um, yeah, we'll get uni on the wall, panel on the wall, and then we'll start the trunking. So yeah, we'll get going. Put my fancy tool out as well. <laughs> <laughs> I think they've actually got things, mate, to stop the, I've just pulled it through it, but they've got little washers to stop you fucking losing the screws, but you don't give a fuck, do you? No. <laughs> so this is a panel we're working with, proper nice gear actually. Um, so we're going to slot the bottom um, like we did in the other unit. We've got main switch to go in here, CTs, MCCBs and all that sort of stuff. Um, so we're just going to start building the board now um, so that it's ready. Or shall we, should we get it on the wall and build it on the wall, bro, do you reckon? Because of weight and shit. Yeah, cool, we'll do that. Um, so now we're just gonna measure. We've got six mounting points um, that we're gonna use. We're gonna do two vertical bits of uni um, either side, and then we're gonna overshoot them so that it can hold our trunk in. Um, so yeah, we'll measure that and get this uni cut. I'm saying 160. So these two cables here, um, we're going to pull out, I think I said on a previous video, um, just because of these dirty kinks that are in here. So yeah, they're going to come out, we're going to tidy that ducting up, do a bit of tray rising up on the outside, a couple of core holes through, um, and then they're going to come through and get glanded into the side of the trunking that's going to be wrapping around the board. Um, but the problem is, is we need all of the slack including what's in the panel. So for now, we're just gonna drop the cleats down, leave the cables on the floor, because we can't strip them out until this panel's isolated. Um, 
So yeah, cause we need, although we can only gland it here, we need the slack within the board. So they're gonna drop down there. We're just gonna measure now. I did put some measurements, but we're just gonna double check everything I worked out before, make sure we're happy with that. And then we can get that uni on and get the panel mounted. So we're just using these drop-in anchors, redheads they're called. Uh, it's basically like a, a wall plug or whatever, but um, you knock it in and then you tap that red head and it sort of splits these um, and grips to the brickwork. Um, they're metal fixings, they're just heavy duty and great for stuff like this uh, and containment and all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna, that's our first mark here. That is the center of our first bit of uni. And then I think, it. what is it? 70. 700 off that to our other one. So we get these two bits of uni mounted and then panel can go on that and we can start trunking in and around it all after that. So yeah, we'll get that mounted. What we need to do is drop that down a sec. Because I just want to make our lives easy. Cool, that's the edge, right hand edge. Now I can be out your way then. Five. Just double check. Yeah, that's 700, but we want to be 20 mil off of that. There you go. And then we'll just grab that other bit of uni in case it's um, different. Bang on, bro. Right, so we're now going to put these drop-in anchors in. There is a special applicator tool that you use. You can get ones for SDS drills or you can just get ones that are like chisels. We haven't got that, so we're just going to be using a screwdriver just to knock these red heads in. So it's just whether we want to fucking. Oh no, it's alright, isn't it? Just pulling in, that's all. Just don't want to go too mad. Cool. Sweet. Right, so we've got our two bits of uni mounted, so now we're gonna get the panel on, um, and then we can do the trunking around once we know where all that's sitting. We're also gonna do an additional bit for this um, extension module that's going on the side of the board, so we'll have another bit of uni to support that.
Right. So if we Right, so that is roughly our mark. Do up that one for now, we'll see where we're at and get these bottom ones. So after the nine inch, you've got about 20 mil. Um, could go up a bit, but it don't need to. Saying that, we've got Paxlin. Yep. So that takes Let's them. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, where's that fucking? That'll do ya. Level, solid, cool. So we've got the board mounted, um, nice solid fixing. Uni's just overshooting a little bit up there and then we've obviously got it running quite far here to accommodate our nine inch trunking. So now we're gonna mount this side extension because that's gonna govern where the rest of our trunking goes. And then after that, it's, yeah, it's just trunking all the way up. It's a lot tighter than we thought. I didn't really account for the side extension, basically. Um, I thought it was like an all-in-one panel, not seeing the panel beforehand. But now we're gonna just 90 ER trunking up and then just do an internal bend straight in rather than wrapping round and all that stuff that I said last time. But yeah, it still make for a nice job and it'll still work. So yeah, then we just got to cut a nice hole in there for the trunking to go into um, and span the uni off the wall or something to uh, mount the trunking. But yeah, we're gonna uh, get that mounted and show you what the crack is with that. Sweet, so we'll unbolt that and then I'll just uh, start prepping this. So let's get the cover off of it. Get the cover off of it. It might be on hinges. So yeah, we'll get that open and then we can uh, look at getting it all bolted through and getting another bit of uni on the wall as well. What will be good is we'll do the uni that supports this side panel horizontally and then we can overshoot it to do the, do the trunking again as well, double, double bubble. Oh, so look, it's even got hinges for the panel in front of this panel as well, a bit onto it. Oh, it's got a lot it's got a fucking lock tight on it. Why is it fucking lock tight? So keep that for at home. There's a big fucking armor in the way. Right, she's got to fucking move. She's got to go, is she? Oh, yeah. You got your impact out here. Yeah. Who put that there? Wasn't me. Get some cleats for it. <laughs> she ain't moving, mate. I'll do, won't it? Tell you what, it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight with that chunking. Um, I can't see a fucking thing. Yeah. Smash the bolt at the top. Give it a push this way if you can. That's it. 
the old carp nut, and again at the top. Right, okay. So, I'd just send a sharpie straight through, innit? Right, so we're gonna need a bit of uni. That is 35, and then we've got a nine inch trunk in coming off of it. So it's gonna be 23, 35, 58. Two bits of uni, fit 580. Right, do you want to cut to the nearest mark then? Because this is fucking bollocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do you want to go then? So is it 580 off that end? Just overshoot from there. Okay, cool. Yeah, you just want to try hold it straight, looking down the barrel of it sort of thing. Looking down the barrel? You should never look down the barrel, mate. <laughs> How do you know if it's not loading right? Eh? <laughs> Silly bit of advice, don't look down the barrel. <laughs> I can make this measurement up as I've got a long time. <laughs> What's the point of fucking measuring anything? Sweet. It's like painting, isn't it? Yeah. I don't see your fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we'll wait for them to dry. We'll get this side extension back off again. Um, get the uni mounted and then it's fucking trunking time. Right, so that is it mounted. Um, so I've just moved this dim rail up because obviously you can have it configured for left hand, right hand. So that's gonna sit here. MCCBs obviously go on here and then um, we'll bring our cable in through, through the CTs into the MCCBs. So we're gonna slot out the bottom of this as well and we'll probably just do one big piece to be fair with Paxlin and one big slot or something. Um, and then that way, yeah, we can come down our trunk in 
in, up, through the CTs and into the board. So yeah, now we are gonna probably start building the board, but also start doing the, just got the uni overshoot in there, ready for our trunking. So yeah, we'll need a couple more feet for the trunk in there, one up top, one there, a couple of spans off there, and then we can look at getting the trunking cut in all the different pieces, getting that mounted. I've also got a bit of tray to run through here. For some reason I've got six inch, but I think I'm gonna go for nine or something a bit more future-proof. So I'll grab that today, but we can get all the feet on and stuff and ready for the tray to just bolt to it. But um, yeah, so far, so good. Real, real nice board actually. I'm looking forward to um, to building it all and talking it all up and making a nice job of it. But um, yeah, nice gear, this Hager stuff. Um, right, now I'm going to yeah, probably work out where the next set of sets of uni are going to go and we'll get them bolted to the wall. Um, probably just try glaze over that because you've seen enough of that happening and then I'll show you a bit of the trunk in and then building the board hopefully today as well so yeah so this is the trunk in we're using big nine inch stuff when you get to this sort of size instead of bolting it together you sort of have these brackets which do that for you um, so yeah wholesalers have done a nice job of um, scuffing it up for us but we should be able to make good at the lids we got another length in the other unit as well but um yeah so we are one two just over one two five edge to edge of our panel um we're gonna go tight we're not gonna be bushing through the side but if we go tight it will allow anyone in the future to bush through the side so we're gonna be literally tight to our um either side of the mccb board so yeah i'm gonna mark this use the metal blade and the jigsaw to cut it and get the other bend mounted, drill the holes and all that, treat it with galve spray, anything we cut, and then we can get that mounted. Once that's in, we'll do the pack slim, which is obviously very time consuming. And then we can um, then we can just throw all the other trunking up, it won't take long at all. So yeah, I'm gonna measure this, cut this, um, taking into account the distance of the other, the other 90, and then uh, yeah, we'll uh, look at getting it screwed to the wall. Uh. Let's get you out the way. Let's get you out the way. Get some gloves on. These gloves on. Right, so um, the GoPro died a long time ago, but um, what I've done is I've cut this at 114. So between this edge and this corner, obviously you want the corners either side of the board, um, is five point, uh, sorry, 55 millimeters. So the distance of the board edge to edge is 125. So, you know, 55 plus 55 is 11 or 110. Um, so yeah, that um, 1,250 actually wants to be 1,140. Um, and then I've added on a couple of mil as well, just for fun, just so that we got a little bit of play. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna bolt this onto here, pick the best edge, because the wholesalers have, um, yeah, they weren't careful, basically. I mean, we're cutting it on this, on this concrete anyway, which isn't ideal, but yeah we want to be we don't want to be doing it in the room but yeah i think this is the nicer edge out of the both of them um so yeah we will i'm gonna go get some cardboard to, to start cutting this on and messing around with it on um but yeah we'll get that bolted to there and then we can i've got the brackets in that one already the good thing about these brackets is you can really easily a lot easier than the other stuff translate the holes onto here so we'll do that and it's big enough that we'll be able to get a drill inside it and just drill through. So um, yeah, nice and easy. I'll go um, grab that cardboard, bolt that together, and then yeah, we'll look at doing these holes. Right, so that's gonna be the nicer edge. So. Is it though? 
I mean, you've got those marks down it either way. I don't know what that is. Tape marks, maybe. You've got that nice scratch there, so... Just spin that around. That'll be our top edge, so we want to get this bolted in this side. That's the wrong piece. Lovely. Screwdriver. Shall we get this bolted down and then, um, yeah, then we're in business. I find with trunking, the bigger you go, the easier it gets, to be honest with you to cut, to work with. Um, and yeah, obviously it gets tougher as well. This is real nice and thick, this stuff. So it's a lot less susceptible to, you know, dings and bending and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, deals with the jigsaw better. Get that in. There we go, right, let's get, let's get this edge filed up. So because I'm useless, I still haven't got a brush sorted for the gal. So we're using a tie wrap. But yeah, just doing, um, just doing the bare minimum, just to treat this edge basically. And then, um, yeah, I've just filed it as well, but I had the camera, I had the camera pointing, <laughs> pointing at the wrong angle. So I just thought I'd bring you in and show you, uh, just treating this edge like I did in the other video. Um, you know, a little bit over the top, but it's a damp old room in there, you know, it's not really sealed and stuff. So yeah, we just want to do our best to preserve this really. Um, so now I'm going to drop that down, but keep it off the floor just while it's drying and try and template uh, the holes for that corner piece there. Just transpose them onto here, drill them out, treat them, file them. And then, um, yeah, we're, we're ready to size up. Ian's just doing the pack slint. So um, that's handy because that takes ages. So he's templating that and slotting that for us. And then, yeah, once this is mounted, we'll be, uh, we'll be flying, really. It's just straight cuts and bends and stuff. So, yeah, I might even leave Ian to do the rest of the trunking and I'll start building the panel so I can show you a bit of that today. But, yeah, drop that down and uh, start drilling these holes. So Ian's just done a bit of shopping. Just done a bit of shopping. Yeah? Yeah, man. What's that from Morrison? Yeah, mate, yeah. Yeah? Oh, that's Andy. <laughs> right, so sun's gone in, but it still is a banging day to be working outdoors. So I'm just gonna hold this up. I'm gonna try and get that uni so it's on the join. So it supports supports both. Go. So that's those marked. I'm now going to get my little drill because that will fit in there nice. Drill them out and then uh, we'll file them, treat them. Right, so I've just used a smaller bit to tap them out because I couldn't get the longer bit inside. So now I'm going to transfer back to my 6mm and just make these smaller holes bigger to accommodate the, uh, the screws. Sweet. So let's go get the file, then we'll treat them with galve, um, and then we'll get it all bolted together and ready to go. So some of this still we right so hopefully some of this is still wet yeah
circuits is because you've got four um, fixing points. They, you can sort of pivot them and move them around. Um, so it can make life quite easy if you're not exactly uh, bang on. But to be fair, these aren't that bad. Um, not that bad at all. There we go. We are left with our bottom section. So I'm going to take this in there now, size it up, um, mark the holes for the to fix it to the uni. But yeah, we'll take it in, we'll size it up, and then uh, yeah, we'll we'll start on drilling those holes. Tap fully up. All right, I'll hold it then if you wanna. All the slots, all the holes. But yeah. We'll cut that out. Right, so we've just templated this. Um, we're cutting into these corners a bit, but because we want our trunk in tight to the board, one for aesthetics and two for future proof, um, I guess if you didn't want to potentially have side entry in the future, you would have this join here on the edge of the board and then you wouldn't have any of this trouble. But um, yeah, what we're gonna do is, there's two fixing points here and here. Um, there's not, there's one further back, which we didn't mark but um, they'll bolt through the board and then bolt through and join this together. So it's no drama really. You'll still have two fixing points um, and I'm just gonna jig through the lot. Um, same in this corner, we'll just jig through that. Um, but yeah, not, not a drama at all. Um, so yeah, you, what did you do E 10 mil? Yeah. yeah, so we'll just, we know we've got about 10 mil play there anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna drill all these holes, get all that jigged out and then, uh, yeah, well, uh, Ian's done his Paxlin, which I think's inside now. So yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be ready to go and get it all bolted together.
Right, so there we have it. Um, cut out. So now, um, oh, it's hot out here. Now we're going to have some lunch. I'm just going to treat that with Galv, but that's going to take ages, so I'm not going to record that. But um, yeah, I'm going to um, treat all the edges and then we will be screwing it all in, but we'll probably have a bite to eat, a um, bit of a break, and then uh, yeah, we'll be bolting it all together. Right, so we're back after having some lunch. Um, we've cracked on a little bit because I'd let these charge up as well. Battery life on them <laughs> isn't great. But um, yes, yeah, so they're charged up. We're cracking on again. We've got this trunking mounted below now. So we've got it all bolted through. We've got the packs in there, nice 10 mil lip because we haven't got a nice manufactured edge for the cables to go against. So we've just got the packs in lip for the cables to ride against. We've done exactly the same in this uh, extension panel here. So yeah, that's all good to go, all bolted through. We're now doing these upright. So that is the internal measurement for my 90. Ian's gonna overshoot that nine inches. And that is gonna, he's gonna do that upright, put some feet on the wall. My feet are still already there, obviously, from last time, from the from the bit that's holding the extension box up. So yeah, we're um, we're gonna do that. Probably do the 90, and then I think I need to get some brackets or something to span uni off that wall. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But I'll get the 90 done and probably the piece cut ready to go through. Probably mark out what I'm gonna cut out, but maybe not cut it out yet, just because it's all live in there. We'll see how we go with that. But yeah, that's the plan. So yeah, gonna start measuring up, start cutting up and cracking on. That on there like so. Then we'll want this slid in like that. Sweet, grab a Sharpie. Let's get some fingers in the end and then we'll try this on for size. Right, so got this upright mounted now. Just gonna see what I can do with some uni. Probably need some L brackets or something. Um, just to support the top of this bend and probably put two more in just to support that small piece. Gonna measure that, get that cut. Ian's still messing around, trying to get some bits of uni to the wall. <laughs> Got the right arm. Um, yeah, that's all in, looking sweet. Um, yeah, it's getting there. So once that's in, we've got a bit of tray um, and another bit to do here but that's probably gonna be it um, for this one just cause it's taken so bloody long. But yeah, we'll crack on for a bit more and we'll, uh, we'll see how far we get. It's about quarter past two, so we've got a couple of hours yet. But um, yeah, we'll see where we get to. 
Right, so that's it for today, guys. Um, didn't get much filming in the second half of the day just because sometimes you need to just turn the camera off and crack on with it. And also, Ian had had his uh, COVID jab yesterday, so he's just really under the weather, feeling really, really rough and just not wanting to be on camera and get involved as much, understandably. Looks like death warmed up, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I'll just show you where we got to. We uh, cracked on pretty well. Um, that horizontals up now that's ready to just be sent across uh, needs some l brackets from the wholesalers to support that and then it's going to get cut in to the we're going to cut a square up basically in the side of the panel um, all fixed all proper rigid um, and then yeah that's ready so we're going to have a bit of 12 inch tray coming across here ready for armors to get landed in and then a bit of 12 inch again on the outside like i said um, and then I'll start building the panel tomorrow as well. So that'll be interesting. CTs, MCCBs, the big main switch, um, all the metering kits and stuff. So yeah, that'll be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Really, really support the channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next Sunday at six o'clock.